right now and because of him. A lot of my credit repair customers because of him. If Jeremy promotes the out of me, like anything that, because I do a lot of things, I feel. And Jeremy comes home every day or contacts me throughout his day with somebody, whether it be credit, like, hey, somebody's looking to do this, babe. I talked to them about you, blah, blah. Like, when we close the deal, y'all see the closing video, but um, just still the point is, he really, really, really values me. And he, kudos for doing what you're supposed to do. Like, I'm a mom, I don't get kudos for he's a dad. But just, like, to just do it without any question, just because he just so and wants me to win so whichever room he's in every room that he's in since i've gotten my real estate license he sits very moment just the fact of the matter is i know this is a this is a client your goal is so oh, instead of planning we get to that goal anyways y'all let me go ahead into this condo look at me i am oh, i came to the fin cheeks to get some lunch babe had to me um some lunch money i forgot my name yeah, I might got a little deal for y'all people. Y'all, I might got a deal for the people without wheels. Hey guys, how are you? Happy Tuesday. What's going on? What's going on? Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Hope everyone's doing well. Uh. Okay. 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 Good morning. Good morning, everyone. I hope everyone had a great evening. And let's get into it. Let's see who's here. Hey, Erica. Hey, Miss HLS. Hey, Lex. What's going on? What's going on? Lindsay, what's going on? Hi, Sherry. What's up? And hello to the Bushes. Guys, we're going to get into it because we don't have a second. We don't have a second. So, Bougie Gang, tap in as you come in. Um, and that's it. And that's all. Okay. Um, we are going over to Camel Toe Realty Group. I was just watching the video. I got about 20 minutes in and this thing is funny. Now, Jasmine in that video last night was oh so depressing and live. Um, they are, they're, they're doing the most and I know we got to get caught up with Gina and I have a couple other people. Oh my gosh. What is that? Uh... Oh, let me let me cross that off. We we covered that. Uh, okay, we will get there. We will get caught up eventually. Um, but yes, good morning, everyone. Let's get Keisha is having a hard time on the streets of Atlanta. Um, oh, so hard. Okay, sis is sis is having a hard time. Um, sis went to try to get some lunch. And you would have thought they like, I guess they were have, they were having an issue because ma'am walked up in there with a camera and they were not feeling it. Okay. Um, you just finished last night's live friend had me over there. Girl, y'all have me over there crying. If you did not catch real talk bougie last night, that thing was funny. Um, girl, the freeze frame for you, Lex. Um, Last night was so funny. Um, the comments, oh my God, the comments had my stomach hurting. And Dre was hilarious. Um, and I mean, a mess. Anyway, um, go watch it. Get caught up on the T aspect of the Ernest Williams case. Um, we did do some receipts and like... A little bit of case review um, a couple of days ago. There are some Erica King videos. If you see the thumbnails, the last three videos in the playlist or the last three lives over there, detail um, Erica King's bail hearing and a couple of other things, Erica King. Um, so check those out and get caught up. She doesn't know Canadian bacon pork. Oh, you know, look, let's get into it. Ma'am, um, ma'am. Okay. Keisha is giving the this makeup reminds me of when she was pregnant. I'm not saying she looks pregnant. I'm not saying she is pregnant. This full face. So I don't know if Keisha has put on the weight she was trying to put on, or this is just how her face is looking today. But this her face at this moment was like giving 
pregnant with Jory. Hey guys, good afternoon. It's Monday and I'm on my way. But maybe that's, I think she wore that type of hairstyle a lot. Maybe I just, or those wigs. I'm not sure. You guys could tell me better than, um, to and I know my brokerage, but not my home office. We're actually going to film at the Woodstock location. Because Why does she tell so much of her business? I'm going into the office, but I'm not going into my office. I'm going into the Woodstock office. That's where they have a filming crew. Um, why not? I'm going into film at one of the offices that has a studio. How hard is it to use less words? Okay. The fact that you have to go in such gr great detail and cannot really spit out what you're trying to say is a challenge, okay? It does look full, doesn't it? Well, I mean, she's been wanting to eat, and you know how s some of the Slimmies, they, their main goal in life is to gain a pound or two, so... Okay, have fun. Because, um we have like a film studio with our brokerage and we get to utilize it for free. So we're just going to get a little content and then I'll be headed straight home. I'm slip tired. I feel like my days are running together. I feel like as a mom, having three children, having one child is a lot. I never had the luxury to just have one child at a time because I was blessed with Journey and Jaya from, um, from the start. But then my mini me came along and boom, just like that three kids. And it is a lot juggling three children, all of their necessities that they need, all their wants, their needs, plus trying to stay fit, go to these gym appointments, um, work, especially if you're an entrepreneur. Y'all right? already know how that is. Like, you do not have the luxury to clock in and clock out. I was telling y'all in my last video, I ended up cutting it out because the video was too long and I didn't want to stay up any longer to wait for it to render. But I am moving into February. I'm going to be changing my. Oh, wait, hold up. <laughs> I'm just driving like Miss Day. Okay, to CCA. Um, making sure that I don't pass the exit. But um, starting in February, I am going to be updating all of my policies, which pretty much is only on the Keisha Jeremy website because that's the um, I've already updated like real estate, but there's like no policy on my real estate. Y'all just let her talk. Hold on a second. Just just let her talk. Sis, running running the whole. Ew, her nails look dirty. Hold on. Uh, um, I've already updated like real estate, but there's like no policy on my real estate website. So I kind of just have a way that I work with all of my clients. And so far it's been going really, really good. But as far as like credit repair, God knew he was doing his big one with this. What kind of t-shirt does she have on? You have on button down blouse. You got on an undershirt? This one because I stumbled into credit repair last year and it has been taken. Why not just wear a coat? She does. She sounds like a fool. Mm-hmm. Um, this was actually pretty in interesting. And it, it kind of rolled kind of quick. So let's just let's just roll with it real quick. And off ever since. This has been my most busiest month with clients. I have went over my threshold of what um I typically even accept. And it got so bad that last week I had to literally well, I had trained Jeremy in the beginning to do credit repair with me um but i didn't really need him because i was able to just manage it and so he only did like one it's the slurping of the snots for me it's so disgusting um and you're training jeremy because what he doesn't have another job reports for me in the beginning well i was like okay well let's just have you know how to do stuff just in case um and that's because i don't have an assistant i do not have an assistant i saw someone ask me in the comments under I think the vlog that went out today um will I be getting an assistant soon the answer to that is no the most that I will have as an assistant will be Jeremy because it's why do people care if she's getting an assistant other than someone just being nosy and I get it because people will ask but why does anyone care if she's getting an assistant were they dry begging for a job or something um because who cares if I mean what is she behind on something that she owes you like does she owe you like did you pay her for something and she hadn't came through yet? And you want to know if she got an assistant? Like, I just wonder what, why someone would ask that just from a GP standpoint, like who cares?
It's really, really hard out here getting a really good assistant. I've tried before and it's just really hard. But anyway, so last week I had to train him again for credit repair because I just had so many clients. But even with training him, I still have to do the report with him because I'm not leaving nobody's credit report. Anymore. Girl, and she wouldn't touch mine either. Like hell to the no. That damn unsecured office and people just information laying and around of someone who's not as much of an expert as myself Hi, so kid. until he's on that level i will still it'll be just both of us doing the credit reports i will oversee him doing every single thing importing every single thing to the t for a few reports to come um however next year i mean not next year february i'm going to be changing my policy because i noticed that i i did this a lot i've done this a lot with businesses like i should be check, taking calls texts like all like all times of the day y'all all times of the day y'all don't even believe Because of him. A lot of my credit repair customers, because of him. If Jeremy promotes the f out of my like, mm, okay. Okay. A lot of my credit repair companies, companies is because of him. Jeremy promotes me. But, um, Jeremy's working with the business. Like important moments. Like, I can't really it's Keisha and Jeremy credit repair. Okay. Because people. Or just like, hey, answer the phone. Like somebody will call and then they'll call right back. Hey, answer the phone. Talk to me. And I answer this. I need you to log in. I need you to look at this. I need you to da, 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 da. So I'm going to update my credit repair process because I think what will help is if I could outline the entire credit repair process on my site from start to finish, frequently asked questions, just like how everything about credit repair will work, then I think that will be extremely, extremely helpful because now I've repaired so many people's credits and I, now I'm getting way more clients because they're referral based. So I don't really even have to do as much promoting because everybody who I have repaired their credit has sent me two, three, four, somebody has sent me six people in a day to repair their credit. And that is a lot. So that's why I said, okay, I got to train Jeremy. And thankfully he was able to help. He's also doing his own business thing right now. So he has a lot on his plate. Um, I don't know. He told me he was supposed to be blogging about it on his channel. I don't know y'all. I don't know if he upload, up, filmed the video, uploading the video. I don't know what he got going on over there, but I do know what the business stuff is that he's doing. But, um, so I feel bad that I have to ask him to help me out. But your girl has to make sure that I'm not wearing myself thin. Um, and like I said, until he is literally an expert with how the entire process works, I will be, I sit beside him. So he's only done like three so far, but I'm literally, <laughs> what's that number you talking? What's this you put? What did you like check dates, check this, check that, like everything, like micromanaging pretty much. So it's like I'm still doing a thing on reports. Um, but I probably will take away week ends. Saturdays and Sundays, I gotta be off because I, I need time off or I don't, I need time to not feel as obligated. I probably will still, do, if, I have, if I have a day where I'm just chilling, I will onboard new clients or, you know, accept the payment for a report and then give you a scheduled time during the week that I will do your report. Um, and then there may be some times. So, I mean, she's not disputing credit. She's fixing. She's a fixer. She's fixing credit because she's like, um, I mean, based on how it sounds to me, it sounds like a fixer. It sounds, it sounds, bro, you guys tell me, okay? You guys tell me. Where I have so much free time where I can just do five or six reports on a Saturday or whatever. But there may also be times where I just am not free. And I like, like I said, when I just went out of town for the girl cheer competition or whatever, and I can't tell on, on the website, like, oh, next Saturday I'll be doing this. So y'all know I'm very organized. So when I get the website policy updated, I'll tell y'all, and it's going to make perfectly good sense. I just need to not have to feel as obligated to work. And that's just not with credit repair. That's just with every single thing business-wise, because I'm also taking on something or trying something new out. Hey, y'all. So we are here. Well, I'm here. Hi, how are you? Oh, I'm Keisha. Good. Hey, Keisha. Nice Caroline. to meet you. you. So we had an appointment to film at two to three. Yes. Okay. Will you be in here? I'll be. I'm actually filming. I'm actually recording. Oh, okay, okay. So, yo, we just got yeah. finished filming content. We did so good, y'all. So check it out. Go follow the Instagram page if y'all are not following already. Um, CCJ Realty Group. And yes, we gotta get into it because we're trying to make y'all become homeowners in 2024, or sell your house, yeah. or sell your house and buy a house. Yeah. Those are my favorite. Y'all, this office is absolutely gorgeous. Hey. Girl, look at her coming with her real estate pants on. 
Girl, look at them high ass. I'm about to lose my mind. Real estate pants. Girl, she looks like she's about to go. <laughs> she looks like I only want to see you dancing in the purple rain. Purple rain. Purple rain. <laughs> Or, um, yes, ma'am, can I get, I'd like a Coke with a lemon, and I would like my um, steak medium, medium, please. And do you have biscuits? Do you have rolls or biscuits? Okay. Look at Keisha coming in the house and ever so diligently locking the door in her, in her flat flats, in her business waiter pants. Okay. These are pants not to buy. These are exactly ugly pants. I'm sorry. And the shirt with the, she has an undershirt on underneath. She wears shirts all the time and has all of her breasts and breast implants, nipples, everything showing. And then today she's wearing Prince waiter pants that are high water floods. And she is also teeny. And then this oddly buttoned off to the side blouse. Like, where do you get a pair of high water pants when you're four foot 11? Do you get them from the kids department? Are those like a size seven, uh, not even a seven, a size, what, eight kids or something? Make sure that door's locked. Okay. Journey, we just ate chocolate. She's like, Look, I'm telling it. Look at this. I mean, we just, ate chocolate. just in case you wanted to know, Mom, I know there's like a no candy rule, um, but we just ate chocolate. Okay. We just ate chocolate, but we're brushing our teeth, so don't even pay attention. Mama, I want your back on my phone. Okay, baby, here's your note out and put those two brushes down. No, no put the back of your phone. This is the baby's phone. Um, Angel? No, yeah. No, no, you didn't. Emma's What? He got Emma Nance. Okay. And went Mommy? back to the house. Mommy? Yes, Angel. Um, How did your school pick your speak? Good. How did you smile? Let me see. And I did so good. She didn't even have to tell me nothing. She didn't tell you anything? No. She didn't. She didn't got all these other guys. Really? She really don't got to tell me nothing. Nothing. I'll be super good. Good job, baby. Hey, mommy, with daddy, then um, take me, take us to McDonald's. You're not supposed to be at McDonald's, baby. Mama, it's closed today? Mm -hmm. They're closed for the rest of the year. I love when kids start to have like... Like when Jaya was like, what, is closed today? I love when kids start questioning, like, but wait a second. You said, da, 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 da. Kids are so funny. What? Why? Because, baby, they just found out that they're bad for little kids. McDonald's, send this lady a nice lawsuit, please, for defaming your restaurant's character. I was really cold. No, to eat. I'm going in my room. <laughs> Let me drop my banner. Look at look at all look at all of the uh, little girl shenanigans. What is oh some washed potatoes? Isn't that nice? Oh, let's let's cut potatoes with a steak knife, guys. It works. Forty. You said it's the first for the year. Was that the forty-nine? I don't think your fingers are gonna help you. 
And maybe they will. Let me see what you're about to do. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. That's 50, baby. 49.50, 50, Angel. Okay, y'all. Why would you sweat onions in butter instead of garlic? But maybe she's making, I don't know. Is she making like a chicken piccata or a a lemon chicken or just a smothered chicken something? It can't be chicken piccata. Lemon so chicken piccata is normally breaded chicken in a lemon buttery creamy sauce. Um, and I don't see like uh, capers or mushrooms anywhere. Maybe she's doing smothered in uh, cream of mushroom or cream of chicken sauce. What was this dish supposed to be? No, hold on. Let me pull this right up. And I tell y'all, I just need a taste test of this stuff. And this thing is so mother freaking good. This thing is so mother freaking good. Who doesn't know how to grill some chicken, get a can of cream of chicken soup, and some sauteed onions, mushrooms. You could put capers, a little bit of lemon and make a nice sauce for your chicken that doesn't i wasn't sure what that was if that was some sort of cajun alfredo i don't know what the what that lady made i mean why not tell the people i mean you can't act like you trying to keep your recipes a secret because nobody's coming to cook behind you no one's coming to eat there either that's the mary that's her marry me chicken that's marry me chicken. I thought marry me chicken was a a big, uh, like a roasted chicken. That's marry me chicken. Oh, girl. Okay. Oh you know that. This thing is so. Y'all teach me something. Good. Whoa! I'm about to make these potatoes because I gotta eat this stuff quick. Hi guys. Hey guys, mommy. Let's cook the food. Thank God the kids in 2024 finally got a seat at the dining room table. Isn't that nice? Finally, they can eat at the table. It's so delicious. Thank that you little desk, know. that desk size. My yeah. desk, my best. desk is actually as big as that table. Best teacher in the world. Yes, mom yeah. has we need and healthy. And it's healthy. Yes. Yeah. This is how my plate looks, y'all. When I tell y'all, this is so freaking good, y'all. It is so freaking good. I got my tea. I got my food. I'm about to eat. I got my plates put in. We gonna see how my girl. Them, them kidneys gotta work overtime. Hey guys, never sees anymore. Oh my god! Look at this real estate outfit, guys. This is look at the. Oh my god. On the toilet, okay. Sis probably had to go run to the facilities, okay. Yeah, we gonna see how, to, how much I'm about to run up tonight. Hey guys, I wanted to give a quick look outfit the other day. Look at the little short look. Look at the big bag that could fit her in it, and this outfit. What happened to all the uh, all the the boob shirts that you were wearing? Um, I'm sick, girl. It's for the summer. It's really it belongs to the summer. Day. I, I don't mind the bag, but I mind that she thinks she's flexing with a summer spring bag, with a spring summer bag, and um, even not in the spring and summer, it's just, it doesn't go with what, like, she's not pairing it. Her style aesthetic isn't that for every day. I'm on my way to a listing appointment and wearing my infamous... I don't even think they were, make those toy birch like that anymore. Because my favorite work shoes were those, but with the wedge. Those are my favorite work shoes on top of another pair of work shoes. Um, I can't find those anymore. I felt like she they don't sell them anymore with the little uh that classic flat and that wedge and her like businessy type shoes. Um, I just never see them anymore. I feel like they wiped that from the line. Um, None. Yeah, this outfit, but yeah, so this is what she looks like. Real nice and classy. I love this type of I just classy. The word classy is like nails on a chalkboard to me. 
It's like when I hear people say classy, it's like the opposite. It's a really, really nice quality top. And that's not ironed. My black um, slacks that I put on my dressier jacket in my bag. I didn't have all too much jewelry. I did switch my wig out, but you guys can't tell because there's another curly on it. It's Which awful. I will see that video very soon. Um, and really no makeup. Just did my brows. Bare face. Bare face. Baby. Oh my. Okay, this part is good. Hey guys, so I'm leaving my Pilates at Solid Core. Another great workout. I have eight classes a month. And now that I'm working out at the gym again, I did my first trial um, because I was offered an ambassador position and I think I'm going to accept. Okay, so this is breakfast and brunch. Oh, this is Jay Christopher's. OMG. And then we also have Witch Witch. The lie detector determined that was a lie. I'm not even be open. They say 10, what time was my class? I started at 9.30. I think I kind of want Jay Christopher's. I am literally starving, y'all. I didn't eat breakfast. I typically eat a full breakfast right before. Wait, as a matter of fact, let me put my Stanley cup in my car because I'm gonna just have too much to be holding. I don't need to turn it all around because I know y'all, some people have asked me why is it so zoomed in? I don't know if I've got lens orders too, but it's because of the lens I have now, y'all. Oh, and I paid so much money for it. Hold on, let me see if I can get lucky and lock my door. Oh, there I go. Because it's supposed to be touch, lock, and unlock, but sometimes it doesn't work with my fingertips. But anyways, um, yeah, I and it's not even that cold, y'all. Honestly, I think I'm gonna take off this other coat too, y'all. <laughs> I got a lot going on. So she's walking down the street, she got a bunch of junk in her hands, she is undecided about how she's gonna do things. She's going back and forth to the car. She's dropping off her jacket. She's dropping off her cup. She's looking sussy as hell. And then she walks into the restaurant, right? Oh, I'll be wearing two coats, y'all. I'm not trying to get sick again. Okay, let's get it together. I work out, y'all. When I tell y'all my appetite is crazy, my appetite is crazy. One thing I do miss about living downtown, Midtown, Buckhead area, is the freaking proximity to restaurants and stuff. Oh, y'all can't wait to get this food. I kind of want to slip sit in here and eat it because I'm just that hungry. I am. Oh, wait. It says, please wait to be seated. Y'all, I'm literally that hungry. But people look at me like I'm crazy with this camera, like they ain't seen social media influencers. When I first started off vlogging, y'all, I got all kinds of scares. But now more, more people are kind of like with the times. Like they understand people are vlogging. Um, or so I thought. Keep watching, y'all. Oh, wait. I got a meeting. Why not, when you're walking into the establishment, just put your camera up for a minute in that ginormous tote that you're carrying? Yeah, I'm about to eat here. I'm literally that hungry. Like, I can't even wait because I got to go drop off some got with orders. And per usual, I always got to give a big shout out to all of my supporters because it literally means so You're sitting waiting for a table and you're not looking serious like you really want food. You feel, look like you're filming a TV show. And now you have a big, obvious camera that you think people are supposed to feel comfortable around just because you decide to walk into their establishment. At the end of the day, uh, no, ma'am, be respectful. Act like you've got, like, just because you're doing something doesn't mean that everyone has to accommodate to what you are doing. So whatever. And look at the freeze frame. It's like, <laughs> uh, okay. Ooh, okay. Wait, let me clear this so maybe I I can use this for a thumbnail. Okay. Okay, Keisha. Girl, Keisha, you have some class about you, girl. You just walked into a restaurant where people are trying to enjoy their bacon and eggs. So much me that I have not had to post one photo, one video, or nothing in almost a year, I want to say. Like, I think I did the Black Friday promo, but nothing major. I have not done a Batman photo shoot in God knows when. And just and you've got orders. Good for you. You, I'm surprised because you told us that you were taking that business out. But you know what I'm saying? Like, nobody cares. I think I was literally going to just be done with it because I was like, eh, I'm going to move on. I got all these hair sponsorships now. They pay so well and other stuff, like other endeavors. But the orders were rolling in and I wasn't even doing anything. And it just goes to show how so many people support me and the business. The hair quality is still amazing. Um, after all this time. Y'all, I'm, so I'm about to pass out. Like, nobody's seeing me. Like, what is going on? I might have to see myself, y'all. I might have to go to the kitchen and cook for me because I'm starving. I ate a big dinner. Well, it wasn't that, that big. 
because the other night when I went to the gym, it was a huge dinner. Like I had my leftovers from that, that amazing meal that I had made, y'all. Okay, let's go off. I think they think I'm just here to play around. Can, can I be seated? Can I be seated? I, I'm confused. Yeah, I'm just trying to be seated. I'm trying to be seated. How about, hi, one for breakfast. Don't you guys say that? Hi, three for uh, three for dinner, three for first available, two for the terrace. I mean, back in the day, we have five for non-smoking, please. Hi, what's the weight for two? Isn't that how you, is that rude? I don't know. That's how we do it up north and pretty much that's how we do it down here. Um, but more so down here, you walk in, there's usually a hostess and they're taking names and giving out pagers or taking your name and taking now taking your cell phone number and we'll text you to let you know your table's ready. And if you walk into an empty place, it's like a uh, table for one, please. That's it. Right? Yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> Y'all, it was a fucking shit show up in that restaurant. Literally a shit show up in this restaurant. It was a shit show when you walked into those people's restaurant with a damn big ass lens camera like you had the right to come into someone's establishment and do that. Outside is public domain. When you walk in the door, that is not public domain. And you should put your camera away. So people know you're ready to eat. Just like how the teacher who's ready to take their test, have your pencil and paper out and someone's still sitting there not paying attention. And if you don't have your pen, your pen and your paper, you're not ready. Like she thinks that people have to accommodate these one person film crews because you live in a city where a lot of people vlog. So what? There's also a lot of customers in there that don't want to be in your vlog or you should wait till you get to your table and discreetly take your camera out. Like it's, it shouldn't be a big deal. I, this is the first time, like even after the Applebee's incident, I still tipped that man over the weekend. Like I still tipped him and, and it was very shitty service and everything else under the sun. However, I, and that's what typically I do. Like even when, like when I, most times when I go to restaurants, it's very seldom that I won't give a tip. Like I said, I may lower it than what I typically would do, but I still would give something. For what I just had to experience in there, there is, first of all, y'all already saw he made me stop vlogging. I've been vlogging for almost 10 years. I'm not new to this. I'm true to this. The way you, he handled the situation, I wish I could have shown you guys. Remember when she went to Jimmy John's? Look how incensed she is. She's so, um, she's so mad. She's so, she's triggered. Okay. Keisha, it's giving triggered. Okay. Keisha, what's wrong? Remember at Jimmy John's, the sandwich, and did the guy throw the sandwich at her or something? That thing was funny. She's entitled and thinks something isn't, and thinks she's something isn't that is the issue. Um, she's lying. The restaurant is very well known and respected. Maybe they didn't like how she walked in and was just like, okay, we'll get to you when you're finished talking. I wouldn't have known that she was there for it. She was just talking to herself, to the camera. What am I supposed to approach you when you are your one woman film crew? I'm going to wait till you finish talking. Like, I don't want to be in your episode, ma'am. Everyone doesn't want to be on people's vlogs. You know what I mean? So you're talking, you're filming, I'm waiting. And that's it. You're not getting a seat until you can talk to me like a human being. And, you know, I mean, that might just be how they deal with that situation at that restaurant. So, I mean, that's it and that's all, right? Girl looks mad. Guys his demeanor when I came in. Literally, I'm thinking he was a regular customer until I'm like, why is nobody coming over here? Like, is anybody up here? Because it says to wait to be seated. And he's looking at me. I'm looking at him. He's looking, I'm trying not to make it obvious while I'm vlogging, but he's looking at me. We're going back and forth, back and forth. And that's when y'all heard me say like, hey, like who's going to see me, blah, blah, blah. And then he starts talking about, oh, you can't have that camera, blah, blah, blah. Okay, whatever. I'm going to put the camera up because it's not that big of a deal. 
And then he kind of, he sees me to the very first seat, like right by the door, like, oh, you want to sit right there? Okay, cool. Sit down. The waitress comes over. I'm, I get my menu. I say, okay, I just need two minutes, literally two minutes, because I'm starving. Like, I just want to look over real quick for two minutes. It takes her an additional 15 minutes to come back over to me. And it's three tables that are seated at, in the whole restaurant. But I'm like, okay, whatever. Come over there. I look at the menu. I order one pancake and I order the, I think I took a picture of it. I'm gonna put it across the screen. I put it, I'm gonna put it, I think, I hope I took a picture of it. But anyways, I put it across the screen if I did. If not, I'm gonna probably look up the menu online and then put it across the screen. But um, it was something in the describe. Uh, Eggs Benedict. So it looks like. Southern Southern Eggs Benedict. What well, was the ingredients? And it said the egg and then it said turkey. What did it say? Not turkey sausage. It said turkey something. And then it says bacon and then tomato, blah, blah, blah. So when she comes over there and I was like, oh, this looks really good. And I said, um, it's the bacon turkey. Like it's all the meat turkey. And she was like, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. And I said, so there's no pork in this whole thing. And she's like, no, no, no. Okay, cool. Finally get my food. Another non-black guy walks in. The same manager walks over, parades him to another table. Do you need coffee? Do you need anything? Blah, 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 blah. I didn't get none of that while I was sitting there for 15 minutes. I'm like, is my money not green too? Like, I'm confused. So I'm keeping it cute because I don't, like, unless I have to take it there, I don't take it there. Like, you know how some people, like, anything that trigger them, they don't know how to even act. Like, I know how to just keep my keep my cool for a little bit because I'm like, you know what? I don't like to have to accuse nobody of being a certain type of way. Y'all know what I'm trying to do. Girl, I don't know if you guys have ever experienced going into the Waffle House when the vibe is off. Just remember going into a Waffle House when the vibe is off. When the vibe is off with the cooks and the waitresses, it's a show. But when the vibe is off with the cooks, the waitresses, and a customer, you are not getting your food. You may as well leave. I don't know if they do that everywhere, but I have literally seen whole fights. I have seen people get their food around you just coming in. And people are sitting there like, what's wrong with our table? Like, what happened? You come into that damn Waffle House and they are not vibing with you for whatever reason. You could sit there for hours. You won't get no food. Nothing plow right now. But, you know, whatever. Anyways, I get my food. I'm eating. Y'all, I'm tearing my food up. It's, it's not even good. It's me. Like, it's really not that good. But I'm so hungry. So I'm eating. I'm tearing that pancake up, pushing through. And then I'm eating the two things. I don't even know what it's called. But like I said, the menu is going to show it. And I think when I took the picture, the other part was still there. The bacon of the 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 thing that I got is underneath the egg and the turkey, whatever that turkey, what is not, it was not, what is it? Turkey, I don't want, did it say sausage? No, it said turkey something. Like, yo, let me get my phone because it's killing me. This is killing, oh no. I didn't take a picture of the menu. I did take a picture of the freaking bacon. So I'm going to show y'all in the end, but I'm still going to get a picture of the dang on menu and I'm going to get a picture of the, um, the food, well, hopefully they got food, show um, a, a picture of the actual entree that I got so you all can see how it was situated. Okay, y'all, so I found their menu, and what I got is called Eggs Christopher, as you guys can see from the picture. What's the difference between Eggs Christopher? I thought it was, uh, oh, there it is. Our version of the Benny, our version of the Benny poached eggs. So it's basically... Um, so roasted turkey, crispy bacon, sliced tomato, English muffin, all smothered in hollandaise. So it's basically like an eggs Benedict, but different. So which one did she want? What's the problem here? It just really looks like poached eggs on top of a piece of turkey. And literally that's just all it is. It's, uh, per their description of it. Our version of the Benny poached eggs on a bed of roasted turkey. <laughs> Crispy, Crispy bacon, bacon. Sliced tomato and English muffin all smothered in Hollandaise. So as you can see. Hollandaise? Hollandaise? Hollandaise. Okay, if you were classy. The lie detector determined that was a lie. <laughs> the lie detector determined that was a lie. <laughs> Hollandaise sauce. I'm not going to tell her how to pronounce it. I think I've already said it. It doesn't matter, but I'm not repeating it. Um, if you were classy, you would know how to say that word and you would know what eggs Benedict are. Okay. From this picture, you can't really Hollandaise. see bacon, only the slice of turkey. And that's pretty much how it looked when the meal was brought to me. But it's literally the egg, the turkey something, the tomato and the bacon. You can't even see it over the egg and the other stuff. And then the piece of bread at the bottom. 
So I'm eating it, eating it. I'm eating so fast with the pancake and this. I'm eating, eating, eating. And then out drops a piece of bacon. And I'm like, hold on now. I didn't had. It said bacon. It said the picture is under the, the picture that's on the menu is right there on Eggs Benedict. So that was not Eggs Christopher. That was not the picture of Eggs Christopher. That was the picture of Eggs Benedict. So much turkey bacon, but I ain't never seen no turkey bacon with the fat on it. So I'm looking at it. I'm smelling it. My stomach feeling a little odd, but I'm just like, maybe it's in my head. This lady just told me there's no pork in here. So I know there's no way. In the midst of all this, another, another black lady walks in. The manager screams, oh, seat yourself anywhere. Just go have a seat anywhere. What? It's so free so anyways the lady comes back she's like i was like is this pork bacon and she was like oh oh my gosh i'm so sorry and i'm like oh my gosh y'all remember the last time i had freaking pork what happened to me i ended up having to go get two colonics to get that shit out of me like it was really bad my stomach like my body was constipated for a week like i do not eat pork i do not believe in pork like y'all can have that pork shit like i do not eat pork it is not good for you like i know it's not because i haven't eaten it in so long if i go a whole year without eating fruit and then have a piece of fruit nothing's gonna happen to my body if i go a whole year without having a vegetable or a piece of broccoli and not eat the broccoli nothing's gonna happen to me you go a period of time without eating pork and you put that ish in your body and promise you something is going to your, your organs is gonna have to adjust like my organs were like fighting back they were trying to get that pork out of there my my colon was backed up i like it was really really bad y'all y'all remember that y'all remember right when we moved into the house and we were renovated literally right when it was time to like start moving our stuff in and i had to go get those two colonics because i had ate that pork from mcdonald's and yeah so i'm just like i never want to go down that path again and i was very adamant and i ate pretty much my whole thing because i was so hungry i was eating everything 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 and don't say well you should have picked it up to make sure the bacon the bacon was this no that's why i asked prior to ordering it and i asked her three times is so she got you an eggs christopher instead of eggs benedict okay okay we get it why do you need to tell us a story time to tell us they ordered the wrong thing can't you just say oh it turned she must have gave me the eggs benedict over the eggs christopher okay that's it that's it and that's all bacon pork is anything on here pork like i had like is any part of this whole meal pork? And she's just like, no, no, it's all turkey. And I'm like, oh my, I was so happy because typically you don't go places and all there, like you have a lot of meat products that are turkey or none pork. So I was so happy. I was like, oh, I'm about to smash this food. <sighs> so I ended up still having to pay. Do I prefer that they would have caught me? But it's not even really that. I don't mind having paying for that damn pancake. I think the biggest thing for me was the manager went back. She went back there to take the pork part off when it was time for me to pay. And he's looking at her side eye like why he got to take the pork off and she got to explain like oh my bad like i mistakenly told her that um it didn't have pork so it's our fault like we got to take it off and um he's like and i just don't understand why the manager decided to go out of his way to make sure that i felt uncomfortable by the camera the way he said it to me but not when he found out oh you gave her pork and she ate it to come over and apologize and say you know i want to say my you know our apologies on behalf of my employee like we won't make this is there something we can do and it wasn't even just that because i said you know sometimes you just somebody could have been having a bad moment so i didn't really want to take a day serious about the camera thing but it's the fact that when the white male and the white the white male and the white lady came keisha you came in ghetto I'm just going to say it. You came in acting ghetto. Should that have made a difference? No, you came in um, all crossing the street 50, 11 times, came in with the ball cap on, came in with the camera, came in talking shit to the camera, um, talk, you know, talking stuff that nobody cares about. You came in unprepared uh, to be greeted. And then you're mad because you weren't greeted. Did the other people walk in with cameras vlogging and talking to themselves? They walked in ready for a meal. You walked in filming a damn TV show acting entitled up in people's restaurants. And then you're mad because you didn't know what the damn difference between turkey bacon and Canadian uh, bacon looks like. That's your fault. Hey man, he's going above and beyond to make sure they were seated. And then he's looking at me instead of just coming over and saying, hey ma'am, out of respect, could you please put the camera up? Because I don't really have people asking me not to put the, have the camera out. Maybe they didn't feel comfortable doing that because they don't know if your ass crazy. Anymore. I mean, I'm, most times people want the camera out because they want exposure or whatever it could be. But anyway, y'all, I got to make sure I'm going to be drinking plenty of water. I'm going to be drinking plenty of water. Go get some colon broom. And just... Being mindful, I hope that I've been going, I know this TMI, but I've been regular taking my probiotics, taking all my vitamins, doing what She's I've been so doing, ghetto. eating my fruits and vegetables every day. If tomorrow comes, tomorrow morning when I have my regular schedule 
appointment in the bathroom and <laughs> it's not going right. I know, I know something. I'm documenting this right now. I know something. So on January 25th, this is going to be my day. I've been going regular since the last three weeks since I've been with my strict regimen. So tomorrow I wake up and it ain't, I, oh y'all, I'm going to be, I'm probably going to cry. I'm going to probably cry because I really don't want to have to go through. It was really, really bad. Like it what was, is, I was so bad. Does she have damn Crohn's disease? What is wrong with you? What's wrong with you? You got celiacs, you got Crohn's, you got some sort of stomach ailment. What is wrong with you? Uh, my stomach was getting bigger and bigger and bigger. I was like, oh my God, and I could not go for nothing. I was trying every, I started trying to try the fact. She I was acts like she is, her stomach is sensitive and maybe it is, but you might want to get that checked out and all that damn salad dressing you keep putting in your ear might be messing you up. My sister, you know, my sister's a nurse. Hey, what can I do? What, every single thing she was trying to, give me as a remedy jeremy started telling me well maybe if you drink some j dairy it'll f your stomach up so bad <laughs> and make you go i even tried that i was so desperate and nothing worked and literally i had to go and get that thing sucked out of me like i had to go get it sucked out of me but anyways i'm about to go home well i'm about to ship these orders off and then i'm about to go home and finish the rest of my day i i'm sorry for this long rant it was just crazy and i had to share with y'all oh, oh my god that's it guys wow Look at us, guys. It's only 45-minute video. Is that incredible? Look what we have time for. Um, we're going to have to do a whole Gina video by itself. Like, she got she got to get a whole video alone. But let's go dip over and see Miss Crash. Look. I'm not gonna say that. Wait, let's... Okay. Before we do that, this video... She did a lot of time. Guys, I tried to watch this, and I fell asleep on it. But she wanted everyone to know what she's going through still. Before we go there, let's go here. Um, lots of complaining, y'all. Okay. I can't believe we did a whole live video in 45 minutes, y'all. Isn't it like time's changing? Oh, Liv says she's done, by the way. She's done. Girl, you're not qualified for any job. How are you going to be done? You're not, you're not done with anything. You are not qualified to do anything. You don't even have a high school diploma. If you're new here, make sure to like and subscribe, like this video, and subscribe to this channel. You throw it out, you stop caring about it. Don't let your head get in the way. Liv thinks it's a good idea. I guess bathing the baby on the kitchen counter. I mean, if that's what if that's what floats your boat. Can't be defined by your mistakes. You know you try and you try really hard, but sometimes you fall. Yeah, sometimes you fall. Ooh, sometimes you fall. Is it that important to show that you're giving your baby a bath that you must show the whole entire internet your baby's naked body? I mean, it's fine. Like, I don't care. But um, do, is there not anything sacred just for the family, just for the private collection? You can film it and not post it. You know what I mean? I, I don't mind that she posted it. But I'm just saying, is there not anything for the private collection? You know, I know I take pictures sometimes. Like, sometimes I have to say to Farah, like, no, it's for the private collection. Like, I'm not going to post it. Because I don't post like I used to, like, personal family pictures and stuff anymore. Um, I do here and there, just because I do want to share my family. Um, but sometimes I just let them know so that's for the private collection. Don't worry about it. You know what I mean? Like, that's it. Precious everything is God. everything is content Careful monetized for these home. folks. Say I'm not sensitive, but I can say I'm not sensitive. Right for me. My baby is like, how did I get Hi, deposited? Uh, how did I get deposited over at this family? This mommy is crazy. Live and I'm back for another video. So yeah, I'm in here. Cooking. Sometimes we tacos. fall. Chicken tacos are nice. Oh. Okay, tacos, chicken tacos. Okay, so they fry tacos over there. Did you see that? This is someone who says she's on a weight loss journey, but her tacos, as if tacos aren't fattening enough, and hey, whatever, I like a good taco every now and again, but as if it's not fattening enough, the tacos are taking a bath in a pool of water. 
I mean, excuse me, in a pool of oil, <laughs> deep frying. Um, okay. tacos and rice. We're making tacos, deep fried tacos, tacos and rice. To be exact. Got the baby. I'm washing some clothes. And um, some the clothes, if you hear that. Um, so yeah, Sometimes we fall. Do the thing. I'm about to put the beans on because AJ likes beans. And yeah, guys, so I'm just in here making some dinner. I'm gonna take the tree down. I'm starting this vlog and it's nighttime. Um, but I want to take the tree down tonight. It's February in a couple of days, ma'am. What's going on? Oh, let's finish the Keisha comments as we're getting into she turned out is crazy. She and it turned out she is crazy. Wait, did I miss something? They didn't want exposure from your cray cray. She and it turned out she is crazy. TMR or TMI, maybe TMI. Is that what you were trying to say? Um, Nobody wants exposure through you, sis. No, ma'am. Ghetto. Very ghetto. Oh, okay. I was like, what does TMR have to do with it? Okay, but then I was like, well, maybe you meant to say TMI. Okay. Um, got it. Yeah, just in case you didn't know, we are you are here at Love Lies and Lace Fronts, where we do reactions, reviews, and commentary on the YouTube channels you love to watch. Okay. Um, where Fran is the hostess, okay, Miss Francoise. Okay. Um all right, let's get back into it. In case, in case you're new here, hit the like button. Make sure to subscribe so you can be notified every time I go live. Post another video, do a community post, and all of the things. And yes, my name is Fran on these YouTube streets, but it's really Francoise. Um, let's see. Let's get through these Keisha comments. Okay. Liv is done with what? Girl, she's not done with anything. That woman is not qualified for any other job um, other than, than YouTube and jiggling her bootie for men on the internet and having babies, okay? Guys, look at the freeze frame. Tap in, tap in, tap in. <laughs> Hi, kitten, for the two times, Arlene, everyone else see... Coco, what's going on? Lady Teabag, what's going on? Jay Breezy, um, everyone here, Bougie Gang, welcome, welcome, welcome. Good morning. It's Tuesday. And um, Casey Johnson, good morning. Ms. Toby, Tennessee, we are in the shits, pure intentions. Avi, Body Treats, Thomas, Shani, good morning. India, good morning. Vicky, good morning. Scarlett, good morning. Lovely Shanika, Ms. Nikki. What's going on, sis? Vicky Sweets for the two times. Jay, eccentric by design. All of the ladies, all of the, any of the guys in the background. Good morning, guys. Um, did I say Scarlet Kitten? Um, there's Kitten Zombie, Scarlet Kitten, everyone. Okay, dim folks, good morning. Good morning, good morning, good morning. Let's get into it. Um, Liv says she's quitting, but ma'am worked at, I think, Sprouts. Um, I think that might have been one of her last jobs. And I think... She went and applied for a job at Subway right before her YouTube channel hit. That's what Liv was working with as a professional. No worries, sis. No worries. I'm just, you know, you know me. I'm just having a good old time. And of course, uh, no, it's it's no big deal. You know, it's, it's nothing but love out here on these YouTube streets, okay? No worries. I want to take it down because I want to get that area ready. I don't eat pork, else. but if a couple and of yeah. pieces do. So, gonna... Keisha's mad because she, she tore up that eggs Benedict. She's mad because it was, she enjoyed it. It was good. Like, but you don't know bacon when you're <laughs> like eating it or ham. Right. I mean, Canadian bacon, if you don't know, just feels like a piece of ham. Now, the baby is cute, um, but aren't, I mean, most babies are cute. Like, they're just, they're babies. They're little people. Okay, what's going on here? Let's let's reduce the speed because maybe it's having an issue. It's having an issue with me. Okay. Okay, let's let's give Google a chance. What number we're at? We're like a minute in. 
That was a cute shot of the baby right there. Um, all right, let me reset this. She says she's done. I don't believe it. That she can't be done. There's no way for her to earn an income any other way. AJ's trying to look. Her and AJ have the exact same hair. She looks like she has lost her mind. And there's Robin, I guess, watching why she's not. Olivia and the faces that she's making as she's washing the baby, it almost makes me think that this is the first bath she's given the baby. And maybe not. I don't know. But it's giving it's giving first bath and um, that baby looks like Stella. It's your girl Liv and I'm back for another video. So yeah, I'm in here cooking tacos. Cooking tacos and rice. Okay, yeah, we left off with the tacos swimming cooking in oil. Tacos, chicken tacos, to be exact. Got the baby. I'm washing some clothes. And um, my mom's on the phone, so if you hear that. Um, so yeah, I got some more tacos over here. Doing its thing. I'm about to put some beans on. Because AJ likes beans. And yeah, guys. So I'm just in here making some dinner. I'm going to take the tree down. I'm starting this vlog and it's nighttime. Um, but I want to take the tree down tonight. Can y'all see the tree? The tree is still up, still lit. I want to take it down because I want to get that area ready for something else. And yeah, so I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. Blog. <laughs> like, comment, and subscribe. I was about to say my chat was not moving so on. Why is it still blurry? Let me yard, see so I was trying to figure out what was going okay. on. Okay, here we go. Yeah. It's synced up. What the hell is that? Hold on, let me look on my other screen. Okay, so it's a fried. Why do you fry the tacos if you're gonna open it up? I don't know. Don't okay, ask guys. me. I don't fry tacos. Okay. Only time I brown something is if we make burritos or um, and I have a cast iron, so I will take either my flat cast iron or my big cast iron, and um, I will either like for quesadilla um, and I put a little coating of light olive oil. There is no way that we deep fry anything like that. Um, the burritos after uh, you warm the burritos on each side, roll up the burrito and then, um, you know, put it back on the pan. I like to put, I've got a press, a cast iron press. So it's like almost like, I don't want to say it's like a brick, but you lay all your food on the cast iron and then you lay this on top of the food and it kind of helps press it down. Um, and if you warm it before, it will give grill marks on it. So it's basically like a cast iron um, grill press. It goes with your grill pan. Um, but yeah, whatever. Anyway, Ryan is growing up. She's losing her baby face and she's going into, you know, her little girl phase and she's looking more and more like Christian, which is more and more like her daddy. And she's such a cute little girl. Hi. Hi. Okay. So I wanted to show you a couple things that I got from TikTok, the TikTok shop. Um, I got, but you can't pay child support lamp, which it's really, really cute. And you had to use someone else's credit. Okay. Um, and it's right here. Oh my gosh. It's right here. It's, and I think I'm going to buy another one because it's that cute. Got these headphones, these Bluetooth headphones. Hey, Mommy got this. Bluetooth headphones. Mommy got this. I got this. I'm going to pass you the stuff. Something. I'm going to show you guys later. Here. Okay, she'll pass me the stuff. I got this light. This is a light for my camera, for my phone. Just a light. Um... Oh, it's blurry. A light for when I film. I need this. And then I got this. Isn't this cute? Check it out, y'all. It's like an Apple Watch. I have an Apple okay. Watch. Which my Apple Watch? Here. It's right here. Did, look, but, Mommy got this light to... No, that's a remote for the light. Uh, this remote to the light. Yeah. It can turn on, on the back. Y'all can see it. You have an Apple Watch, but you bought a fake Apple Watch. 
And then she talks about having her light needs to, her Apple Watch needs to be unlocked. It sounds like you bought it hot. I have an actual Apple Watch. Where is it? Well, look at this, guys. Hold on, baby. Wait. Hold on. This is my Apple Watch. I just haven't used it in so long. So I need to actually go to Apple and like disconnect. Because it was connected to another look, phone. Guys. I don't know. I need to go talk to Apple. It's not connected to the phone. It's connected to your account. So if you had another phone and see, I don't know if she doesn't have the same Apple ID and password, that's what it's connected to. So if you changed your Apple ID and password, but the good thing about Apple, which I think a lot of people like, and this could be the same thing about Android too, but I don't know enough about Android is that your Apple ID is that's your full that's your imaging to your phone or to your iPad if that's how you want it set up. And when you log into a new phone, as long as you image it with your Apple ID and have them image it to your last upload, your last backup, your phone, your new phone will look exactly like your last phone. Um, I do that with my phones, but I don't do that with my iPad. I have my iPad image differently from my phones. Um, just because I want a different experience and I don't use my iPad the same way. So I have less stuff on it and things like that. Even though I my cloud backs up, you guys follow me. Any Apple people, you know exactly what I'm talking about. This trick doesn't seem to know Apple world. Um, but that's also, you know, sis doesn't have a, you know, sis, sis just, you know, sis is lacking. Okay. She's slacking and she's lacking and we're not teaching. Okay. Okay, we're not teaching. Those who know, know. Uh, Samsung does that too. Okay, because you you back up to the Google, right? Um, I'll try to get it disconnected so I can use it. I forget what it is. My husband is a Android person, and um, all his stuff seems to get backed up too. It's like the same thing, right? But in the meantime, okay. in between time, obviously, it's not important to me because I haven't done it. Um, <laughs> I bought this. This is only like. 10 bucks and then i got this this is like a waist trainer girl i can't wait till she tries that on the last time she got a waist trainer i almost fell out my bed when I google cloud you. thank you boo this is like a chin trainer <laughs> what stop it stop it you gonna change you gonna try and train that chin okay sis <laughs> No, I'm going to show you guys later, but I'll show you guys. Um, Anyway, I just want to show you guys that. I also got something else from TikTok, the TikTok shop. Don't sleep on it. Okay, sorry. I just got, like, super scared because AJ, you see him, was up there with the baby. King. I have King, to watch King him. Johnson. Yeah, is that the baby? Me. Baby sister? No. He loves her so much, but he just doesn't understand that she's so little. AJ, get down, Papa. He doesn't understand that she's so little. Will it you train know? the fupa too? I don't think so. Anyway, uh, let me get it, it'll train. Wanna... It'll train her chin fupa. Look at her hair in the background, guys. Look. Look at that hairstyle in the back. Look at. <laughs> Does she need that? Do she doesn't she need to for her chin? GD Drive, I think she needs two chin trainers. Wow. I'm not tech savvy, but all at all, but I want the gadgets. I love the gadgets. Yes. And when the gadgets work well and you have to do minimal things to make them sync up, it's pretty awesome. Um, Android is just so confusing to me. That's why I just don't bother. But um, I know my husband, he's a diehard Android person. He is not interested in what I got going on with my Apple stuff at all. Uh, lit girl busted. Boosted. Dinner's done. My room is a through. You, guys you know how people say through. Okay, girl, guys, she's so through. I'm taking down the tree. The tree is say through. Bye, tree. Girl, no bye, tree. tree. Bye, bye, tree. Okay, bye, guys, tree. So bye, bye, tree. I have my corn. Am I corn cooking? I'm corn cooking. Let's check out the chicken. Chicken. Ooh, baby. I don't Chicken looks through. Why my camera looks like that? My camera looks all distorted or something. Anyway, and the potatoes are still in here cooking. The potatoes are serving dinner. Wait a second. How did she have the Hawaiian rolls laid out? Who doesn't just open up the pack and lay them on some, some foil like paper? That. My camera 
looks all distorted. If you take your, and I'm talking real butter, I'm not talking margarine. If you take your butter out and leave it out for like half hour to an hour, you can spread it right on top of your Hawaiian rolls and you get some of that good Weber garlic and Parmesan. And then they have garlic Parmesan seasoning. And then they have um, something called garden fresh or something garden. I forget what it is. Garden something Weber. And you sprinkle some, it's like rosemary. It's got a bunch of aromatics in it. Um, dehydrated. You put that on there and the Weber garlic and Parmesan, and you put a little, a little, you can just do a, just a, a quick of some Badia complete or some, uh, some salt and put that in the toaster oven. Girl, you are in business. Okay. Business. You are on that business. It is so good on some Hawaiian rolls. Okay. They will eat it all up. Anyway. And the potatoes are still. And the here. potatoes. So I'm gonna start serving. Look at the rolls. The Wait, the I plants. missed it again. Damn. Damn. My Mister Mister. Look at Christian. I have no. Mister right here. Oh my God. Why is everything blue? Blue this, blue that, blue everything. Everything is blue. I messed up the thing again. My bad. Those are still in your cooking. So I'm going to start serving. Look at the rolls, guys. Who does that? Who separates the Hawaiian rolls? Serving dinner. She made rice, corn, potatoes. She makes the I same dinner all the time. I have Mr. right here. My Mr. Mr. I helped Mommy carry the juices. Yep, he sure did. That's a big boy. Okay. So... We're gonna start. Christian, you want a potato, baby? Chicken out of here. Oh, look at that crispy chicken. Christian, you want um potato too? The lie detector determined that was a lie. Okay. The lie detector Yummy? determined that was a lie. You know what? Her house is always full of stuff. Liv, no matter where Liv is living, the house is always giving full, okay? I don't know what is going on. What internet am I on? Am I on Spectrum or am I on... Am I on... Oh. Uh, maybe I should switch internet. Let me see. All right, let's see if this if this does better. It's still spinning. Oh, so annoying. I know people say it's StreamYard. I don't know. I don't know what it is, but I know it's annoying AF. Um, okay, I'm going to see what you guys are saying in the comments while I... Where's the green beans, the green veggies? None. She could just make a salad. The kids are little. It doesn't matter like the calories for the kids. Um, if they're eating, you know, some protein, a well-balanced meal. If she wants to bet, you know, I mean, cooking tips. Oh, you do. Thank you, Bailey. You're so sweet. Um, just make a salad or just cut up some cucumbers and a little bit of Italian dressing and let them dip it. It's so good. That Olive Garden salad dressing and... Um, those cute and cucumbers. I like the cucumbers that look like pickles. Oh my God. So good. So good. And just make like a little dipping sauce and it's so, and they're getting in a nice cucumber or a plate of tomatoes. You don't have to have, you don't even have to have a full salad. Okay, guys, we have so much to go. Hold on a second. Okay. Let's see. Okay. Here we go. You want, um, potato too? You want potato? I'm gonna have to. Okay. All right, y'all. Here's her. Someone place. said her food is always yellow. Yummy? I saw that. Yummy. Mm -hmm. To go. Why is the house full of everything? Yeah. 
<laughs> Christian, you're not even doing it right. Even you, you can't do it at all. Why is that house always full of junk? Everywhere oh, live no. lives. So low. Like look, look in the TV. You see Liv right there and Stella right there. Okay, using Ryan as entertainment. Okay, yeah, you're not gonna demonetize my video. Okay. I got one. Now she's showing, she's trying to be like Peach and wants to show her breastfeeding. I got two. I got three. And I got four. Mommy. Where's the fifth one you asked? In the other room, but I was late. Mother, but <laughs> these kids, they won't get out my bed, y'all. <laughs> It's not funny. I'm about to die. Yeah, it's your baby sister. <laughs> oh, he's so in love. Is she smell good? Mommy. Is she smell good? Oh my god. <laughs> So baby, baby, it's just a baby. Yeah, it's just a little baby. Baby. Hi, guys. Hi, guys. Hi, guys. Hi, guys. Hi, guys. Hi guys. What's up? I'm getting ready to and, rant. Um, I got my nails done. I got my YouTube paycheck and I went running around town and I went and got my nails done. Okay. I thought I would come it's and talk to you It's your bestie, Miss um, Miss Westie. On how I'm feeling. I think I can speak for a lot of us when I say that I went into this year feeling great. And the devil, the power that be, the negativity, the nastiness of the world. Okay, let me give you a little backstory. At the end of the, you guys already know this, I'm sure, but some of you don't. Liv is so consumed, like a lot of people, with the internet and what the internet is saying and the internet feedback. And there's obviously uh, reaction channels that review her content, talk about it, what she's doing, what she's not doing, all the things, right? Including me, right? So um, she has been going back and forth with a particular channel who really doesn't go back and forth with her. This person does their content, but she likes to... Liv is the type of person she needs to have someone to pick on. And this is so, this is so YouTube streets. Um, it's like a cliche now. It's some of these people are so ego driven. It's like they have to have someone to argue with. And if they don't have someone to argue with, they're not happy. So if someone's not arguing, then they'll just pick the next person to argue with. Liv always needs someone to argue with. If it's not Gerard, it's fake baby daddy. It's the internet. Is this? Is that? Is whatever? Everything that Liv is going through at this moment is because she has been a whole bitch on this internet for several years now. She's been very, very nasty, and mo like most people with good common sense, when people are doing reactions on them, they just ignore it and keep moving and just keep putting on their content. This woman wants to respond. She's been dirty. She's been vicious. Um, she's taken it to a place where it hadn't been taken with her. So now it's ratcheting up a notch and she's mad. She's mad and she wants to act like she's triggered, but she is responsible. She is reaping the harvest of the seeds that she has planted and it's her own damn fault. And oh, well. So now, you know, people are talking more people, you know, she doesn't allegedly she doesn't want people talking about the kids, but you keep putting your kids on here. You keep running your business. You don't want people talking about you identity thefting your boyfriend, but you talked about it. So clearly you wanted us to talk about it. It's so dumb and so stupid. At the end of the day, this woman still doesn't want to understand that she does not control the Internet. And that's where she is at this moment. She's mad and upset because people are talking. They are seeing the lies. Once again, she's caught out there and she's feeling some type of way and she wants to quit. But the only thing is she's not qualified, right? Miss Toby, how can she use them as content and not paying support trifling? It's like Jasmine running around getting emergency food stamps and then doing a monetized YouTube video. It's trash. It's called trash canism. It's, it's called whole trash like, can. 
hold me back. I still wash my dishes by and hand. Derail me. My dishwasher just holds my dishes. You know what? A lot of people do there. that. If that's happening, I don't to do you. that. But I, I, and you're just like. I would if I did to. Yeah, a lot of I people don't know. Do that. Like you're letting the shit. That's a major complaint. They're saying a lot of people are saying because they hand wash dishes now. A lot of new kitchens, people aren't even putting dishwashers in. They're just going ahead and reclaiming that space because they don't use the dishwasher anyway, or they're adding a different appliance, like a under count, like a like a drink fridge under the counter. So they're using that space. Like people are rethinking their kitchens because part of the qu kitchen equipment included a dishwasher. But some people don't like dishwashers, and um, and like I said, they're using, they're reclaiming that space for different stuff. Girl, it is crazy, but I don't do crazy. You know what I'm saying? I don't do crazy, girl. I just do my content and bounce. Okay. You could talk about me till the cows come home. I'll be back the next day with my content, and sense. then I'm a, and I'm a that's rinse and repeat on that. I'm letting the shit that I'm my my business. Get to me. And I'm trying my hardest not to. It's gotten to a point where it's like, I don't want to deal with, with, I don't want to do YouTube. Like, I really don't want to do YouTube, y'all. Let me try not to guess. I'm really sick of this. I'm sick of social media in a whole. I try to stay as positive. But she, but she stays behind the scenes watching it. Like, you, you consume it. That's how you got here. As I can, okay, okay. but like I constantly have people trying to f with me, and social media is different than the real world, in a sense where on social media, <laughs> if it doesn't benefit you, there's no point in, of even going back and forth with the loser you know what i mean and that's what i have coming at me 24 7 are losers and it doesn't benefit me to go back and forth with the loser it benefits them but it's like it doesn't benefit me at all so you know in the real world <laughs> where most people live and work um if somebody comes at you you know you're gonna come at them back but on social media The people who are relevant don't go back and forth with irrelevant people. You know what I mean? It just doesn't happen on social media or it's not supposed to. That That's the rules, the unspoken rule of social media. So like I said, I have a lot of losers constantly on the daily coming at me and I'm live. Like I don't take no shit. I'm just not like that. So it's hard for me. That's hard for me with social media. Like a lot of people or some people can't take the bullying and it's too hard for them and they get depressed and they they feel some type of way they're they're nervous they're scared they're anxious whatever blah 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 but me i don't let people talk to me crazy in real life <laughs> so it's like social media is hard in that sense um like the other day i was actually on tiktok and somebody came into my live and they were like, oh, you weren't going to stop having kids until you had your light skin kids. And honestly, if a person said that to me in person, I would slap them across the face. You know what I mean? Period, point blank. Nobody would even say that to me in person. <laughs> but I'm just saying, like, you see what I mean? Like, people say the most awful, disgusting things on social media because they know that they're going to get away with it. <sighs> In a lot of ways, I don't want to do it anymore. Um, another thing, it's funny. It's just, oh my God. It's just, it's just so much. It's just so much. I deal with so much shit, y'all. I deal with so much shit. And it's like, if people are not talking about me and my children's situation, what can you say about me? And that's what people play with the most. And it's like, I'm really so fucking sick of seeing that and and hearing it. And it's like, and most of the time, y'all, I just ignore it. Y'all see me. I'm a great mother. My kids love me. She's mad because she can't claim bad bitch status when you don't have your kids. Okay? I'm sorry. You don't have your kids. That's your business. And, and if you really were on some bad bitchery 
you wouldn't care what other people say because their thoughts about you would not be relevant. You wouldn't care so much. You know what I mean? If you're like, look, shit happens. I messed up, you know, this, that, and the third, blah, 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 and whatever, then that's fine. Then just leave it at that. But if since you care so much, it bothers you. It bothers you that you don't have your children. And as a woman, as a mother, it should, because your kids shouldn't be being raised by another woman. Your could your kids shouldn't be across town getting dropped off in someone else's SUV. Your kids shouldn't have another lady going and running and buying them jeans. Um, the lady who is taking care of them on your behalf should have the freedom of the, the, her lifestyle, which is getting to enjoy her man that she's getting ready to marry and their kid-free home, okay, and having the kids on the weekends. But because you couldn't do what you needed to do as a woman, as a mother, as an ex-wife and handle business accordingly, your ex-husband had to go file papers because unlike your daddy, he wanted to see and spend time with his children, <laughs> okay? He did. He wanted to see and spend time with his children, so he went and filed that paperwork, okay? He went and filed them papers, and now you get to visit rather than manage because you took advantage of the situation and the court said no, okay? The judge said, what did the judge say in the chat? Do you guys know what the judge said? The judge said, Gerard will be picking up the kids and have their things ready. Okay. Don't be mad. Don't be mad. You got two ki other kids. You got the two others over there for you to take care of. You got AJ and Kai Kai. Okay. <laughs> have fun with AJ and Kai Kai all week. And then on the weekends, you can have your bonus kids that are being taken care of and handled by a whole, they were getting their hair braided and moisturized and greased. Um, the school is calling the new mom, the new, the stepmom, the fiance. They, they're like, Olivia who? The school's like, oh, did Olivia, Olivia who? Oh, that's my mother. Oh no, well, we have someone named, um, not Olivia on the file to call if the father's not available. Um, is that correct? Do you know? Oh, yeah, that's our stepmom. Da -da 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 -da. But I'm already <laughs> dealing with the whole custody situation in real life. And then I have to come on social media and I have to have people talk about it and try to rub it in my face and try to hurt me behind it. And I'm just like, shut the fuck up. You don't even know what you're talking about. You understand? Like, it's Monday. I wasn't able to talk Lying to my daughters beans. on Friday. Why? Because he denied me to talk to my kids. Just denied it. Just denied it because he felt like it. Now, yes, I'm going back to court and it will be brought up. Best believe that because I'm not fucking playing about this shit no more. Like, stop playing with me and my children. I'm sick of it. She's bullied and triggered at this point of having someone confront her in order to see if she was going to keep the same girl, are you going to keep that same energy you like to talk on the internet? Because people are catching flights to come and say, Hey sis, what's up? Like you invite people to come and say, what's up. And furthermore, uh, on top of inviting them, you talk like you take it to a place where it didn't need to go, where someone actually boarded a plane or maybe was in town anyway, whatever the set of circumstances were. Um, at the end of the day, don't be bothered when you are inviting, okay? It's like going to sleep at night with your front door wide open and not locked, right? You're inviting someone who's about that enter into a house life into your home. Should they do that? Maybe not. Whatever. I don't know. I don't know if the people know you or not. But at the end of the day, if you're not about that life, why don't you just drop your videos? Stop being so concerned about what the internet is saying. You don't have to know what the internet is saying. You choose to want to know what the internet is saying. You choose that by indulging in it. And this woman indulges into the gossip about her all the time. She's another one who loves to be in the bushes and watch videos about what people say she has going on. I wish I had, 
I don't even wish I had that type of time because I don't. And even if I did, I wouldn't be doing that. But it's like, like I said, I already have to deal with dumb shit in real life when it comes to this my just kids. gives her a storyline. I don't want to deal with it on social media, you know? And me sitting here talking about it, people are just going to do it more. But it's like, once this situation is over, between my kid's father and I, what you going to do? The situation is back right with my kids. I swear. <laughs> it's over. It's over. And I know that's what people don't want the most because they don't want me to be able to move on with my life. They don't want me to be able to be happy. The fact that she has this dialogue in her head about people not wanting her to be happy, she's a nut job. Nobody cares that much. We're just watching. You're just watching. Like, if I were to find out that Liv were an AI simulation tomorrow, it wouldn't make a difference to me. I will never, if I ever put my pinky toe in Dallas again, I've been to Dallas many times. If I ever stuck my pinky toe in Dallas proper again, let me tell you something. The last person I would run into is this specimen because I, I don't, I'm not going to be anywhere she would go. She would see me before I see her because I'm not looking for her. She exists to me in the computer. She could, for all intents and purposes, I'm be honest, she could be an AI simulation. And if I were to find that out tomorrow, you know what it, it would do to me? Nothing. I wouldn't care. Some people might be mad to Google or whomever would have created such a such a situation. Me, I don't care. It's just a TV. It's just... It's just something I watch in my phone or on my TV. This woman really doesn't exist to me. We just talk about it. But justice will be restored in this situation. And things will be fair again with the situation. And that she's she needs to shut that I can't give She up sounds hope. like she and this message really, I know I'm just like ranting at this point, but like for real. Anybody out there who has lost their way and she's her comments and and off. like she let the bullshit get to turn her. off her Keep comments. Your head up, no, I'll leave them on. Keep your head up. It's gonna get better. Somebody out there needs to hear this message. It's he gonna get better. With drive and I'm good talking to myself and I'm talking to you. No, he can't it's do that. It's going to get her. better. Don't give up. Now. I'm not yeah, going to give up. She to control him. Because you don't even understand. Yeah, People absolutely. are like, oh, uh -huh, you always talk about just, blah, blah, blah. Doesn't have any yeah, you know how bad I don't want to talk about this shit dad. anymore? I don't, She's I, just mad because her dad didn't fight for her and Gerard fought for his kids and won. And it irks her soul. Never want to mention my ex or this situation ever again. When I can wake up, and things are back the way that I want them to be. <laughs> and I never have to talk about him or just never have to think about this situation again. It'll be over. <sighs> but yeah, I'll never, I'll never entertain anything ever again and I'll just be done. And I know that's what people fear the most, my haters. All you haters out there, you guys just, just. Look. There might be people who relish in her misery. I'm not one of them. I don't care. Like, I literally, literally do not care enough. You really want me to stay forever upset and forever dwelling on this. And Girl, like bye. I told you guys before, this is the only ugly splatter on my beautiful painting. I am so happy. Here, my baby. <laughs> I'm so happy and I'm so blessed. Like, I'm so blessed. And I'm so happy with my life. And I'm so excited to move forward. I'm so excited to live a great life. We got to get through this, y'all. And I'm not just talking to myself. I'm talking to anybody out there who's going through something right now. Keep your head up and stay strong. The people around you need you. You need you. So stay strong. If not for anybody else, then for yourself. You see those two little babies right there? My babies, my babies, they need me. So I will forever stay strong for them. I will never give up. I'll never stop fighting. It's just, it gets hard. It gets fucking hard, bro. 
and it doesn't make it any better. Hard, bro. Want to hurt me constantly behind this shit. And on top of it, <laughs> their own father wants to play with me, and my my kids play with me as a mother and my kids. Like, it's okay though. I'm speaking on this because I want to be able to look back on this and be like, look what I went through. And there is so much more that I do not tell you guys and I will not tell you guys just yet. So much more for one day. But I'm going to stay strong and I'm going to keep on moving forward and I'm going to keep doing my motherfucking thing because that's what Olivia does. Period. Can't nobody or nothing stop me ever. So keep trying. It will never work. Anyway, happy 2024 once again. It's the end of this. It's the end of January, bitch. And I'm saying happy 2024. <laughs> Restart, reset. Let's try again because this bullshit got the best of me. But I'm just here to say fuck you and fuck anybody else who tries to stop me. I love all my supporters. Thank you guys so much for rocking with me. If you don't rock with me, get the fuck off my channel. We will get through this. <laughs> anybody else? Oh, really? Wow. That is so, that was classy. Girl, that was classy. <laughs> that was funny that she actually think that that holds some weight. That was hilarious. Okay. Liv, wait, I'm going to let her say that one more time. Cause that was kind of a surprise. Got that was good. Me. But I'm just here to say, fuck you and fuck Ooh. anybody else who tries to Ooh. stop me. Ooh. I love all my supporters. Thank you guys so much for rocking with me. If you don't rock with me, get the fuck off my channel. We won't get through this. And for anybody else, fuck you. Mm. Sincerely. Live. Wow. Sis is salty. That's called salté. That's called salté. Okay such such a classy delivery of such salt a bitch is mad girl they're staying mad wait where's bobby schmurda okay live number one keep your legs closed to married men that's one thing i want to give you some advice keep your legs closed to married men that's number one number two girl that was hilarious you seem triggered and um girl stay mad okay that's pretty much that's my message to you. <laughs> Put up your content. Let's see how many views. Girl. Girl. Y'all, hold on. Ooh, ooh. I guess I would be mad at this point. Girl, 3,100 views. 3,180. And it was published nine hours ago. And Sis is sitting at 100,000. Okay. Well, 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 well. Uh, all the babies love seeing you all together. I know if I'm sick of your ex, then I know you're really sick of him. Why would you be like, you're watching, like, why would you be sick of her ex? What does that make any sense? The closer we get to God. Okay. Uh, Liv, don't let these haters run you off. How can haters run her off? How is that even possible? Um, they're jealous of you having nothing better to... They're, they're jealous of you having nothing better to do while you are here living your life, sharing your moments. Um, your kids are... Okay, I don't even understand. I don't... I don't understand low life living accolades, but okay. Okay, let's see. Um Okay. If I come up and I fall off, that's on me. Did she edit out Chris? Hold on. If I come up and I fall off, that's on me. That's on me. If I come up and I fall off, that's on me. So she took Chris out? That's on me if I come. Those are the best braids that Kaylin ever had. Those braids, she looks absolutely, she's a pretty little girl. So she edited out Chris. We see. No lie, cause I remember days. All right, this is them 
Chris is Chris has been permanently deleted. Chris has been gone for a minute anyway. That's so me. Got a few comments. Look at legend. That hair needs to be moisturized so bad. You wanted me to vlog. Is she crying or was she drunk? And they don't care if I show like what I'm going through on an everyday basis. They want to see like everything ins and outs, how I'm doing. You know, because I say this all the time. Some days I can sit up here and smile and be happy and be grateful to wake up. And some days I just want to get out of bed. So it's early in the morning. Well, it's not too early, y'all. It's 11:41. It's early in the morning. Well, let me. It's 11:41. She said it's early in the morning. And she looks at the clock and it's 1141. Was this the night? Did she like masturbate herself to death? Because it's like, how do you sleep till 1141 and wake up and have the nerve talking about it's early in the morning? She's disgusting. Wow. So, wow. It's early in the morning. It's not too wow. early, y'all. It's 1141. I'm just not getting to I didn't go to bed until like 5.45 in the morning. So you stayed up all My night. Was just, yeah. I'm going. 5.45 in the morning. And, and it's at 6 o'clock in the morning. Like My anxiety was kicking in last night. So I really just, I couldn't sleep, right? A lot of stuff was on my mind. Um, just little things, you know, Legend's young and... Uh, I need to wash my face. I'm about to wash my face and brush my teeth. He's young and he doesn't really understand some stuff as far as um, who's the whole daddy situation. So if you see a black man in the store or if he sees like my went to my mom's house, uh, her boyfriend or my, my brother, he thinks everyone is his daddy. He's like, daddy? Um, even when the kids talk to their dad, he's like, daddy? And I'm like, no, that's not your dad. I'm not the type of person to tell my son, you know, this is your dad. Or, you know, if I got into a relationship or something, I'm not the type of person that's going to do that. You know, I'm always let my child know who their father is. You know. That's so Other ghetto that, and sad. Just that, you know. Um, I feel like that was on my mind a lot, too. And I mean, why... Did you tell your kids to call Chris dad? Did you tell the twins to call Chris dad? Even though maybe, I don't know if they did or didn't. I don't even care. But why are you sitting up worrying about something like that? No man wants some other dude, kid calling him dad unless the Negro don't show up. Like, I always bring up Future and Russell and Sierra. But at the end of the day, um. I don't know if Future is there for his son like he should be, but Russell Wilson is. And that little boy, I don't know if he calls Russell Wilson dad or not. But if you have an absentee father, then you run the risk of that happening. And Jasmine, judging on the type of men that you seem to attract and what you're, what you're actually, do you see her arm? Why is her arm all turned like all contorted? Do you And do you see this whole fat pocket pad right here what is going on with her did you guys notice that is she is she double jointed in her shoulders that's disgusting ew let me go put my watch you guys i'm gonna charge real quick ew <laughs> He's over two years old, guys. He's he's well on his way to two and a half. And he still isn't he's saying right, mom I'm now. To put my watch on charger, but, hey, stop being loud. I just I feel like I have to let my child know. You know, this isn't your dad, or you know, 
she's, she's ramping up here. for some new penis. Um, he'll call whenever he calls, you know. He can't, it's sad. It's a lot, y'all. You can't just FaceTime him. Um, a lot of people think that it's just- You should have thought about hurting, that before you uh, is, open your legs. Okay, I should make up a meme that says, close your legs to bums, but this is all I have right now. Close your legs to married men, okay? Jasmine, if he was living with someone else, if he was doing someone else, then you really shouldn't have been bothered with him. And um, that's your fault, sis. That's your fault. You should close your legs to bums and scrubs, okay? Too, and I don't like it. Um... Close, close your legs to deadbeat dads. Close your legs to bums. Close your legs to scrubs. Close your legs. Close your legs. Close your legs. Close your... Close, if you have five, six, seven kids and you just got dumped, close your legs. Don't even open them. Forget about close them. Don't open them. Okay? It kind of okay? brings, it's like almost like PTSD. Someone said that. And it kind of is because it brings back memories from whenever, of course, it was a different situation. But whenever my older kids, when dad went to jail um, and how that affected them and not understanding. So... The only difference is his dad is just wherever he is and you know he calls whatever um i don't even want to speak on that too much because it just makes me upset, just close your legs period <laughs> um i'm just trying my hardest to get through this at, at this moment um what else i have a few things i have to do today sunday yeah, chris was the father of the year day, yeah so. chris was father of the year yeah yeah. Baby mom's fault. The children didn't and speak to him. Okay. I just don't feel like doing anything, did he just call the camera? Um, I'm about to did he just bill. call the camera, so daddy? So yes. So far. Jasmine um, has a picture of Chris on her phone. Yeah. I just been just close your legs. Fasting. <laughs> I'm not even gonna lie. Intermittent fasting. Chris has never I been just... around full time. Dairy I, don't you know, know that person. Dairy thinks the camera is his dad. Eat, but when I do eat, I just eat small and then I'll eat small portions. So I'm just like, this is the perfect time for me to lose the weight and focus on my health, you know? So that's what I'm doing. That's what I'm doing. But we about to brush our teeth and wash our face and get started. We're going to stay in pajamas all day. It's a cold, gloomy day. I'm going to take a ground beef out to make sandwich for my kids when they come home because um, my mom gave me some stew yesterday and that's what me and Legend are going to eat. So that's <laughs> that's just that. Or you eat me, I want you and I'll just eat the stew. I don't care. But I'm going to step on the scale. Wait, get off the scale. It's mommy's turn. Sit right there. Stop. I'm 269 pounds. The lie detector I determined would... that was a lie. Oh! The lie detector determined that was a lie. Oh! That Gucci needs a temporary, uh, wait, a TPO, temporary, um, what is it called? A temporary something, a stay away order or a temporary. I forget what that's called, but yeah, TPO. Mm -hmm. I know what it is. It's basically a temporary restraining order, um, but temporary something. Okay. Um, okay. So you have, so <laughs> which is the 200? 200 is her nose. Okay. She says 269. If Jez is 269, Gina must be. Gina says she was over 230. Gina says she was over 230. Okay. Temporary protective. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Protective protection. Because originally, my first weight, uh, I was. Okay, Avi, tell me, uh, uh, Thomas. Avi body treats, Thomas. So I lost a little bit of um, A little slimmy. Gotta just keep pushing, but I have to brush my teeth. Avi is 
slim thick. Okay. Jasmine is just uh, out of order. Okay. Jasmine is just out of order. Hey guys, um, we're gonna. I'm filming a brush your my teeth with me. Isn't this exciting? Isn't this wonderful creative content? It's a brush with me, starring me and legendary Bowser. While I play sad single music, sad single and trying not to be salty. And we're gonna have a dirty pajama day today. We're going to stay funky, but I'm going to wash ears. We haven't done it in a couple of days. So I'm just going to wash ears and faces and, and hot spots. We're going to get into the hot spots today. And um, okay, guys. We're getting down to the basics. And we're going to stay in pajamas all day. And stay funky -y. Cause the kids won't be home till later. And we're gonna stay funky. Ooh, Chris took his toothbrush and everything. That ninja took his toothbrush and everything. Mommy, save me now. Oh, save me now. Save me now. You should cry an ocean for me. For the dumb shit and the damage you've done. I've been crying oceans for weeks. Yeah. Try to fight it, but I'm drowning in the zone. Sister, save me now. Save me now. Save me now. Oh, save, me now. Save, save me now. Me now. Oh, Chris, come save me now. Save I'm on it. Whoa. Whoa. Every time you say you're going to change. So what happens it, to the time that you I'm say that you're going to change? Hey, Daddy. Daddy, is that you? Hi, camera. Hi, camera. Hi, camera. Daddy. Like I said, I'm Daddy, camera, is that you? Hi, camera. Hi, camera. <laughs> What's your daddy's? Hi, legendary. You're going to be coming to school here. Okay, what's your mom? Jasmine? What's your daddy's name? Camera? Staying in pajamas all day and so is he. It's cold. It's rainy. My mom is I Jasmine like and my daddy is Camera. I put it on yesterday. Today, I'm not feeling it. Save me now. Save me now. Jasmine running around showing her butt and pampers on the floor. Nasty. What? What is it? That messed up. Look at that dirty bed. I'm something to eat, okay? How how is he in a toddler bed and doesn't just have a nice sheet, a pillow, and a good little comforter and a blanket folded the minute he gets up? His bed should literally take 15 seconds to pick up. Come on. We're not going anywhere. Look at that old junky ass bed. How can he get a good night of sleep in that? In his little you know, in his little baby cage. He wants to go somewhere. Save me now. Oh. All right, come on, let's go find something to eat. Ooh, he's such a little brat. Oh my god. And then I have Look to at that. Like the, Look at that. Too, Look so at that. What I'm going through right And now. she films it. She films it and shows it. Legendary is having a tantrum because he probably didn't get a good night of sleep because his mother was trying to do a lingerie photo shoot for the YouTube streets. No. Save me now. Oh. It's, still over there. it's 12 o'clock. The house is a mess. Girl, Chris ain't coming back. Never. Do you hear me? His new piece is over there. Up early, eight o'clock, making breakfast, jumping on sausage, handling business, probably took her ass to work, gets a paycheck, happy, 
pro- they probably have no kids over there. He's probably strapped up or has his appointment at the vasectomy clinic because kids is not for Chris. The lie detective determined that was a lie. Oh! And my man, thank you to my man. Jasmine, your man is going, you ran his ass off. I've been telling you, I don't know, I don't know who been telling you, but I know I've been telling you for about two years, maybe two and a half. When the night that I saw you in that yellow romper, I was like, Chris, run, sir, run. She getting ready to get a baby on you. And then it was Jasmine, you running the man away. You are too annoying about him being online. You're you're dumb, feeble-minded, low potential, low life living self has run off the one nincompoop that you got into your clutches and you ran him off with a job that he didn't have when he met you. You ran him off with a truck with your name on it that he definitely didn't have when he met you. You ran him off with some child support he didn't have in place when he met you. You ran him off in a better position than he came to your house. You should feel stupid. He's he's a well, you know, Mom Duke said it. He's bad. I'm just going to repeat what his own grandmother said. He's bad. Grand, the grandmother said he's bad. Yell at me. Yell at me again, little boy. Let me turn off this camera so I can go ahead and handle you, sir. You better not yell at me. Talking about. Sir. Yeah, Oh, there goes Bentley. Poor Bentley stays in damn all morning. She's been asleep. It's now 12 o'clock and you're just letting the dog out. Are you kidding me? You got to be kidding. Bentley, go outside, Bentley. Poor Bentley. Kaylin's room probably smells like pee. Doesn't she have filtered water in the sink? They have a water filter treatment thing in the garage. Here she goes with her old silly ass coffee. Time to make the donuts. This is so sad. This is so... Oh, and it makes the worst noise. How embarrassing. Ew. <laughs> wow. I would be so... I wouldn't be happy with that. Save me now. Oh. Caramel macchiato. Oh, oh. Hi, guys. Look at me. Anyone out there wants a piece of this? Get me on Instagram. Oh. Why don't you put on... So instead of so Amazon, so the TV, right? Why haven't you put it on some ABCs? Open the fucking windows, open the like, bring some life in there. And really and truly, you're not getting dressed, but why don't you put his little warm up suit on and sit him down in some clothes and not pajamas? Sit him down on the floor with his blanket and some things, give him a nice breakfast, let him play put on some shoes, let him go run outside a little bit. I don't know if this was the week that it was super cold, but you know what I'm saying? Like, 
get on the swing. Why don't you let him swing a little bit? Why don't you let him chase a ball around the yard with Bentley? If you would stop keeping him separated from Bentley, he would learn how to play with Bentley as someone who's a dog person. Let him play with the dog. He'll he'll learn. They'll learn each other, and that might be his little best friend. That's number one. Why don't you put on some educational television, and he can sit there with his books, his blocks, and play. Give him some crayons or something to draw and write and listen to, educational, some songs, a movie. Put on a movie and not a slasher movie, people getting murdered and all kinds of nonsense. Why don't you put on something nice? She's a mess, guys. Bentley's like, where's my ball? All right, he's going to go in there and play for a bit. I need to put the extra pieces on that are missing out, but I haven't done it yet, but he's just about to play for a little bit. With his toys, what mommy do? I have to tackle that. Laundry, laundry I life. Load in the laundry too. <laughs> what are you doing? It's time to start dry begging for your audience to send him a bicycle. It's time because everything's too small. Yay. <laughs> Where are you going? <laughs> Are you being silly? <laughs> How are his feet that dirty? So he didn't take a bath. And that means your floors are dirty. Oh my goodness. Go. Look how dirty his feet are. Ready? Go. She didn't give him a bath at all. Does it take five seconds to just put him in some warm water? And give him a nice wash up and wet his hair and put some moisturizer on it. It's just ridiculous. Gracie's Corner, anything, even if, I mean, I loved, um, uh, I mean, Farrah watched a lot of Peppa Pig. She watched a lot of Rainbow Bright. We got the whole, we had the whole, not Rainbow Bright, but uh, the, the horses, the My Little Ponies. Um, Peppa Pig, um, Yo Gabba Gabba at that age, um, Teletubbies, all that stuff. Um, so many different things. Oh, you drifting, okay? Go. <laughs> all right, so I just started a little laundry. And um, no. I have at least two, no. I'm gonna do at least two loads today um, as far as washing. But Ava did remind me that she wants to eat home lunch tomorrow. So I have to take out her lunch box. And then, yes, baby. Then um, I'm gonna make them probably just quick lunch sandwiches. Okay, okay, okay. Probably just a quick lunch chip, sandwich and chips. Okay, okay, what is it? Hold on, let me see why Bentley's barking at the door. Hold on. Um, Bentley, who are you barking at? I don't see nobody outside. Hmm. It's the YouTube so, streets. So, guys, I'm trying to do laundry and drink my coffee, but I think somebody's a little sleepy or something because he's, like, crying, and he wants me to hold him for a bit, so. And I have a load in the... um have a load going in the washing machine. I guess I'll just cuddle with him for a bit and then um, and watch TV. And hopefully he just chills out and not, and let me, uh, you know, full close. I do want to edit my vlog for today. I might have to work. I have to stay consistent. I have to get back on my regular consistency because um, we hear this I all the time. Like five kids to take care of. Same message. A lot of y'all were saying, like, Jasmine, you need to just get over it. You need to just get over the pain and push. Let your kids be your motivation. They are my motivation, but I am human, y'all. I do have emotions. And I'm the type of human. I'm the type of woman. I love hard. And that's probably why I'm not rushing to get into a relationship 
I'm not rushing to find somebody. I love hard. I love real hard. I'm a good woman. I do have my flaws, but for the most part, I I will hold my man down. So that's basically what I'm, you know, going through right now. So drink my coffee, cuddle, watch a little bit of Netflix with him, and then get back to doing what I need to do because it's 12 o'clock now and I still have to work. Someone must have broken my heart Like really torn it apart In another life In another life Someone must have really fucked me up Like caused my heart to stop In another life In another life Otherwise I don't know why I keep coming back to this Keep fighting all of it Don't trust that there's love again I don't know why I just can't believe in it Like somehow I can't commit Guess I have to submit All of this sad routine is like You're just, okay, so Legendary wants you to lay on you Why put on the TV? Why not just lay there Let him fall asleep And then lay him down on the couch for a nice nap And fold up the clothes she just looks for any reason to be lazy. I'm sorry. She can't be making any money and she needs to go apply for childcare resources. Oh, so what kind of, you're watching some sort of adult show. You don't even care about this kid. You need to put on something kid friendly or put him to sleep. Let him go to sleep. Get him in his bed, rock him to sleep, pick him up, lay him down in that crib jail you got, and then come back and do your laundry. Then oh, she's wondering why she doesn't get anything done. So I'm currently editing today's video. This is like, I want to say maybe a week or so later. I went live after that because I ended up not filming. Like I said, some days are harder. Some days are easy. But this particular day was a really hard day. And I honestly was struggling. So um, I'm just being vulnerable with y'all, showing me, showing y'all how things progress throughout my days and every day. Um, today, I've been real productive. It's a whole other day. Like I said, some days are different. Some days are good, some days are bad. You just never know what you're going to get going through the emotions that you go through and going through the, uh, the, the whole obstacles of just dealing with five kids alone. Um, again, it's a it, it's, it's difficult, but um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Try to keep it minimum edited as possible for y'all to give y'all a little aspect of how I really feel. Um, give it a huge thumbs up there, girl. If you're new here, drop in the comments down below that you're new here and put some grapes next to it so that I know and I know that it's real. I love you guys and I'll talk to y'all later. Bye. Okay, guys. I think that is enough. Enough. Enough already, guys. Um, Jasmine is dragging out this breakup to the nth degree. Jasmine wants everyone to feel sorry for her because ma'am hasn't ever been in in she's been in a couple of relationships and both of them have been in the shits okay um they have been horrible okay and that's just the well that's just what she's been through right lord these the songs are horrible right um uh, oh gosh this shitty music again that's the number one complaint about jasmine's uh content is that her music selections are atrocious? Okay, they're just atrocious. Look at look at look at my pulsating behind her head. Jasmine, wake up, Jasmine. Chris never loved you, Jasmine. Chris was using you, and when he actually really liked you the most, you wouldn't respect his boundaries, and you forced him to get drug online and start getting called hips. You weirdo. Okay. I'm sure Chris is so Chris probably sleeps so sound now because he doesn't have to deal with this woman. I think he low key hated her. So good thing he left because you don't need to be sleeping with the enemy, sis. You really don't. So, you know, he at least he was man enough to go. 
That's all I got to say. Um, you're laughing, Bailey. <laughs> it's been a month. Out, girl, low key, it's been like damn September, October, November, December, January. It's getting ready to be February. It's been damn six months of lies. She said that he didn't even buy her anything for her birthday and he told her he fell out of love with her. That's six months, sis. Right? Maybe not six months, because what? Um, the ninth month is uh that September is the ninth. So let's say by March is gonna be six months. Okay. Guys, tell me, did Krishan really get a tattoo on her face or was that a joke? Is that a jokey joke? Because I saw it and I was like, wait a second, is that real? You got to be kidding. Did she really? Did she get the yeah, blue face tattooed on her face? I guess he's doing some time right now. I don't know, but I was like, you got to be kidding me. Um, I need to go see Chloe. That's who I follow is, uh, is the mom. The mom is funny to me. I've got a couple of her lives in members. I have some lives I still need to upload. If you guys like um blue faces mom she is crazy as she's crazy as they come like ma'am is what these women are going to grow up to be uh ma'am is nuts okay but she's funny and um i have a couple of her i have a couple of lives uh that i need to upload um going back a little bit um but they they do need to be uploaded cuz she's <laughs> she's very funny anyway guys i'm gonna let y'all go i hope you have a wonderful day this was so much fun i am gonna be live on real talk bougie but i gotta go get boo boo from her hair appointment um so once i collect my boo from uh from that situation i will be live so just have your notifications set and um and i will see you guys um you know not too long not too long. I will be live. Um, so, and we'll talk about things, guys, on the uh, on the Nesto streets. We learned the other day. If you had not seen it, um, we learned um, in the bail hearing. I'll drop the link. Let me get the link. This is over there on Real Talk Bougie. If you guys are following the Nesto case, his co-defendant, Erica King. Yeah, we found out she does not even have custody of her kid and you know on the youtube mommy streets that's bad girl carlissa is a whole mess um she she had some shit going with her when the kids were growing up too plus she was selling her putty cat um erica king yeah erica king doesn't have custody of her kids and she went and slashed her sister's tires girl um, there's a couple videos back to back that'll get you caught up on ernesto's co-defendant erica king Go, she's in the thumbnail. Just go check them out. Go to the playlist and go check them out. Anyway, guys, I'm gonna let y'all go. We will get into we, we gotta get into some Gina. She had the QA. We never talked about it. We we just have some Gina to get caught up on. So we will we will do that. Um, even if we have to do it in two videos, we'll get caught up with Gina. Gina, um, and I just I haven't even been watching this week, too. So I do need to just get caught up Gina with Gina on GP. And then that way we can kind of summarize it on down and not because, you know, Gina posts movies. Gina put up a video yesterday. Girl, it's an hour and 37 minutes. That's a whole movie. So I'm going to watch it so you don't have to. But if you do, just watch it and we'll we'll summarize. We're going to get a summarized uh, version because, yeah, hour and 37 minutes. Boo boo. No. OK. Mm -mm. All right. And I know you guys are keeping up with Peyton. You saw Peyton last night and she showed some um, some glimmers of the boyfriend was working out with her with his hoodie on. It won't be long. Um, I guess if she decides to show him or not, I don't know. We'll see. We'll see how that goes down. Um, but sis is happy. She says she's happy and, and, uh, and that's a good thing, right? Anyway, guys, I'm going to let y'all go. Hit the like button. This was fun. You guys are awesome. And make sure you meet me over there. Beat me there. Don't meet me there. We're going to be talking Pine Grove Road. We're going to be talking The Godmother. Uh, keep your legs closed to married men. Ma'am went live for three hours talking that ish. And I think we might get into that. That might be something to good, good to get into, but we're not going to be able to do that. The three hours, girl, bye. Okay. 
girl, bye. But we're going to do our best. So make sure, have your notifications set, and I will see you over there in a little while, okay? Who's saying something? Who's saying something? Uh, she starves them Davis kids and keeps them in their bedrooms, but Stankabug gets to eat and run all around. Say cheese. Say it one more time, okay? Uh, wait, who is who was selling their pretty cat? Carlissa? You didn't know Carlissa was out there? Like that? She was. Yeah, Carlissa was. Mm-hmm. Are you in members? Who's it? Um, a lady. Okay. I have some lives with Carlissa. And um, I might put them over on OSIP or something. Um, and if you're not subscribed to OSIP, what are you waiting for? Maybe I'll put that stuff over on OSIP. Um, we might get into Carlissa soon. She is a she is a grandmama. Um, but Carlissa is with the shits. Make no mistake. Okay. Anyway, we, we might need to keep up with what's going on with her and her children and her grandchildren and the baby mothers and all of that. Anyway, um, we'll see. We'll see how we can get that in. Um, yeah, Carlissa used to sell it, sis. Selling that Tootsie, okay? That Tootsie Roll. That Tootsie Roll. <laughs> uh, uh, that Tootsie Roll. Cotton candy, sweetie roll. Let me see that Tootsie Roll. Okay. All right, let me let you guys go. I'm playing now. Okay. Have a great day, guys. Wait, let me. Bye, guys. See you later. Let's see. <laughs> Why can't I say goodbye? Bye, guys. See you later. Have a good one. Y'all are awesome. Where's my outro? Let's see. <laughs> I need a good outro. By the way, friend, I respect you as a um, as a reactor. By the way, friend, I respect you as a um, as a reactor. By the way, friend, I respect you as a um, as a reactor. This is all about clout. <laughs> <laughs>